Hello, this video will go through an example of how to solve a trig equation that contains a reciprocal ratio. In this case, this equation contains the cosecant ratio. So our first step is we want to rearrange this equation so that the ratio ideally is isolated, uh, especially because there's only one occurrence of the ratio here that should be fairly simple. So we start by adding three to both sides of the equation to get two cosecant theta equals, and then two plus three is five. And then dividing both sides by two gives us the cosecant of theta is equal to five over two. Once we have this reciprocal trig ratio isolated, then we wanna keep in mind what this trig ratio is the reciprocal of. So we know that the cosecant ratio of theta is the reciprocal or one over the sine ratio of theta. The secant ratio is one over the cosine ratio and the cotangent ratio of theta is one over or the reciprocal of the tangent ratio. So here we wanna use this idea here that the reciprocal of the sine ratio is equal to the cosecant ratio. So here we can replace cosecant theta with one over sine theta or knowing that the ratios of cosecant theta and sine theta are reciprocals of each other, we could simply rewrite this ratio of five over two as its reciprocal and then change the ratio to sine. So we're going to rewrite this as sine theta is equal to the reciprocal of five over two, which is two over five. Now this is an equation that we know how to solve. So looking at the ratio of 2 over 5, we first notice that this is not a ratio that comes from our special triangles. And so in order to solve for our values of theta, we're going to be using the sine inverse on our calculators. So what we notice is that this is a positive ratio, right? 2 over 5 is a positive number. And the sine ratio is positive in quadrants one and two. So when we draw our possible angles for the solutions for theta in the Cartesian plane, we're going to have one possible solution in quadrant one and one possible solution in quadrant two. And I'm gonna call this first one in quadrant one, that's gonna be theta one. And the second solution in quadrant two is going to be theta two, and both of them would have the same value of beta here as shown in the diagram. So to solve for beta, we know that we use the positive ratio, which is the same as what's written here. So sine beta equals two over five, and taking the sine inverse, we get beta equals the sine inverse of two over five. And so beta is approximately 0 0.4115 radians. Using that value on our diagram here, we get that theta one is exactly equal to beta, which is 0 0.4115 radians. And theta two is pi subtract 0 0.4115 radians. So we get pi minus 0 0.4115. And so theta two ends up being approximately 2.7301 radians. So we have our two solutions here. And I should note that all of the trig equations we're gonna be solving today, we're gonna to be looking for solutions from zero to two pi. And so we've found the solutions that would occur between zero and two pi because in quadrants three and four, the sine ratio would be negative. So there are no more remaining solutions between zero and two pi.